Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a, a very simple tip about a uh, structural trust. So as you can see, this is the trust and it's a, a, a parametric trust. So if I change this um, max panel width, so we will see it reduce the number of the, the web. And also if I change the roof shape, it will still match. So if I edit the pitch, so for example, 20 degree, maybe uh, 30 degree. Okay. Okay, so let's um, start. Actually, <laughs> actually, this is, um, I didn't model it. Um, so here, so this is a project. So what you need to do is just go structural, structure, trust, and load a trust family. So in your Revit uh, family folder, and there is a folder, tra a structural trust. So if you go here, so you just need to load one of these uh, flat trusts. So for example, I'll, tr I'll load this one. Okay, so load this one and open. So I'll draw it here. So now I'm going to draw a roof on top of this truss. So for example, roof, yes, a, a rectangle shape. Just, I just, uh, just to match the truss roughly uh, here. Okay, and then uncheck the defined slope on these two edge, and then I'll finish it. Okay, so let's go to 3D view and uh, looks like the truss is not at the the, heart, the the same height of the roof. So what I'm going to do is select this truss, change this to 4 meter offset and this one to 4 meter as well. So now the truss height uh, will match the, uh, it's, uh, it's matching the roof height. And then I just need to select this truss and click on attach top and click on roof. Uh, something's not right. Uh, that's that's okay. So let's uh, let's let's have a look. Okay, so let's detach this truss first and then have a look. Let's go to um, style plan. So wireframe WF select. This truss. I just need to drag this so it match the edge of the roof. So let's see. Maybe it's because of this. Okay. So let's just drag this back to the edge of the roof. So now let's go back to 3D view. Select this truss again. Attach top. Click on roof. Ah. Well, it cannot attach the chosen. Let's. Oh, sorry. Let we need to figure out what's happening here. So select this roof again, and I think this is this is it because when we drag the end point of the truss in the side plan, when we, when we drag that point, well, we actually we change we changed the height of the truss. So so change this back to four meter, okay, and this to four meter. So now. Make sure the truss is lower than, uh, at least at the same level or lower, I think. Now, if I attach top, attach the roof, so you will see this truss will match the shape of the roof. Okay, so if, if I add footprint of this roof, so for example, I change this pitch to 15. Okay, see, and of course, if I select this truss, so and change this uh, max max panel width. So for for example, if I change to eighteen hundred, and then just have a look of the number number panels apply. So see, from eight to seven. So so if I change this to and still if we adjust this roof okay 
Now you might need to uh, tidy up some of this corner, but the 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 main structure, the main profile of this truss will match the roof. I think that's and also the uh, it's still parametric. You can adjust the number of these panels. Okay, so that's it. Um, let me know if you have a better idea or <laughs> um, I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.